Hello everyone, this is Dr. Jawad. Thank you for watching my channel. If you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button down below if you're watching on YouTube. And then right next to it is a bell notification. When you hit that, I try to upload my videos weekly. I'm busy, so when I do, you'll be first to be notified. If you're watching on Facebook, thank you very much. If you haven't done so already, please hit the like button down below. And if you find this information valuable, please share with a friend because sharing is caring. Enjoy the video. Hello everyone, this is Dr. Jawad. In this video, I'm gonna answer a question from one of my viewers and she was asking me, how does sel selenium affect the thyroid gland? Because she was deficient in selenium and when she did some research, she managed, she upped her selenium and her thyroid function was actually improved and she had was maintaining normal levels. So selenium is an important mineral. It's involved with the thyroid gland because it's involved with the conversion of inactive T4 to active T3 and also in the activation of T3, the T3 thyroid hormone as well. So in the pituitary gland, in the brain, it sends a signal down to the pituitary gland to release thyroid hormone in the form of T4. T4 thyroxin is actually 93% is inactive and it has to get converted to active thyroid hormone in the form of T3. Now, what is thyroid hormone? So thyroid hormone is one molecule of tyrosine surrounded by four molecules of iodine. And a process called iodination, one of those molecules of iodine gets cleaved off to form T3. One molecule of tyrosine and three molecules of iodine. And that process, iodination, involves an enzyme called 5-deiodinase, enzyme which helps that process gets cleaved off and what fuels that is selenium. So if you're low in selenium, the, the conversion of, again, to cleave off that one molecule of iodine gets lower. So this is why this is where the conversion factor could be affected. Also too in the liver. So you got the thyroid hormone circling through the bloodstream and 60% of inactive T4 gets converted to active T3 through the liver. So this is why liver health is always so important. And in my previous videos, I always talk about taking care of your liver, if you have fatty liver, if you have uh, any type of congestion in the liver, this is why I always talk about glutathione is an important liver cleanser. Now the main, again, one main mineral that helps with that conversion with the liver is selenium, okay? However, selenium is needed to make cysteine, okay? Glutamine, glycine, glutathione, all of these, all of these other ingredients, selenium is needed to help with the production of that to help with the liver conversion. To help with that 5 deionase enzyme to convert inactive T4 to active T3 so your body could use. Now there's other couple factors involved which will affect the conversion. Now if you have increased cortisol, if you have increased circulating cortisol, it's going to shut down the thyroid gland. If you're mineral deficient, selenium, zinc, magnesium, vitamin D, if you're deficient in those minerals, you're not going to have adequate con conversion levels. Vitamin D3, I'm sorry, yeah, vitamin D3 deficient. Insulin resistance, that's going to affect how the thyroid gland, the conversion, is going to affect the body. Also, too, de uh, if you're taking in low calories. Now, whether if you're an athlete or if you're just trying to lose weight the wrong way and you're not taking in adequate calories, yes, this is going to affect the conversion of T4 to T3. Why? Because we need these important minerals for the conversion. Now, the flip side is if you have normal cortisol, if you have adequate amounts of selenium, if you have adequate amounts of zinc, magnesium, and vitamin D, Yes, it's going to help boost the, again, the, the conversion of inactive T4 to T3 because why? It's going to fuel that enzyme 5 deionase because it needs selenium. So one of the things I always recommend, clean up the diet, take away, again, the sugar, the fatty foods, the soy, the dairy, the wheat, the gluten, all those things remove because you want to clean out the system first. Then you want to replace it with a supplement, selenium methionine. Selenium methionine is a phenomenal supplement because you can't overdose on it. However, I just 
just to keep it safe, I always recommend a dose between 200 and 400 micrograms daily because that's going to, again, supply the body with selenium. Brazil nuts, phenomenal, loaded with selenium. Iodine, now iodine, you want to take in the, the small amounts possible and that's anywhere from 100 to 200 micrograms a day because again, you're going to supply the necessary ingredients to make thyroid hormone. However, however, if you have an autoimmune disease, okay, if you have hyperthyroid, stay away from iodine. Magnesium is another supplement to take. Zinc and vitamin A. Again, all, taking all these will help boost your thyroid function. Again, selenium deficiency is, will affect the thyroid gland. So again, before, so if you have hypothyroid, check the selenium levels first. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please share with a friend. Please hit the like button down below. Please leave a comment. I like to read the comments. I do answer any questions that you guys leave. Thank you very much. I'll see you in the next one. Be good.